Shall we go for a swim? Today on Crafting Times. Howdy folks, and welcome to part 7 of the Beginner Box Build, Pathfinder Beginner Box Build. As we're journeying our way through this endless dungeon, we've just gone through a passageway with uh, some graffiti and an enchanted pillar, and now we are entering the room of the Deadly Pool. When the adventurers enter this room, there's a little bit of loot, some treasure, on the uh, other side of the shore of this pool and should they get there a reef claw will give them a little bit of run for their money or GP uh, for uh, this is not a totally safe swim now how did I make this uh, water effect I'm glad you silently asked as you watch this video so this tile is three layers thick base layer the quote land or shore layer and then edging along that painted the whole thing black then I used modeling paste and dappled in a ripple texture where I thought the deepest part would be and then rippled out from there to the edges now I did this so that later I would save on the Mod Podge uh, lacquer type uh, finish stuff I used later so after I put on the flexible modeling paste, I painted it. This is a technique I picked up for some, from some model railroading videos I watched. And you start with the lightest color on the outside, start dappling uh, around a ring around the edge, then go darker and so on and so forth, overlapping. Uh, and then I started putting on the Mod Podge. I think I did 10 coats of Mod Podge. I could have gotten away with closer to five because of the modeling paste. The other thing to watch as you're applying the Mod Podge is not to dapple too much or you get all these tiny little bubbles trapped in there. But all in all, I am very satisfied with how this tile turned out. Now the gold, I'm gonna show you an even more blingier pile of gold later. I'll tell you a little bit more about what that's made out of. The mystery ingredient, clue. Hipsters like to eat the mystery ingredient I made this out of, but we'll cover that in another episode. Uh, so that is the Deadly Pool. Probably my favorite-ish tile of this dungeon. Uh, and it turned out pretty cool. When the light hits it, hits it just right. It's like better than watching a sunset on a lake because I made this myself. Thanks for watching. We're going to be back with part 8 very soon. Big old goblin fight, Jerry Springer style, throwdown. A lot of cool stuff in that one. Uh, probably be a lot longer than this episode to cover it all. Thanks for watching. See you soon on Crafting Times. Mm -hmm.